hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a tool that is going to enable you to generate voice from text in a graphical user interface you can use this tool in windows and linux and also on the mac os by following the same instructions this is by far the easiest tool which i have found out which is free which is local which is private which is open source which you can use on your own system quite easily and quite quickly so let's get right into it this tool is called as xtts web ui which is primarily a gradio interface on top of some tts model and i will show you shortly how you can do it quite easily before i get right into it there are a couple of requirements which you need to have first and foremost you should have a gpu of 4 GB VRAM. You can try running it on CPU. It is going to work, but it will be very slow. So I would highly recommend at least have a GPU with 4 GB VRAM and that should do it. Also, make sure that you have Python installed and that's all you need to do on your system. So let's get started and try to get this thing installed. First up, I'm going to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Let's get cracking on this XTTS web UI. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm running it, Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. And I'm also going to show you how much VRAM it is going to consume when we load it. Now, first thing you need to do in order to get started is to go to its GitHub repo. Right click here on download and you can download the full blown package with it. Or you can git clone this repo in order to download all you need to do right click save link as and then save it anywhere you like you see i already have saved it on my local system it is simply a zip file which you need to download and then right click on it in your system and you can just simply say um, unzip so for example this is my download directory i'm going into my download and this is my zip file right click and you can say extract here same for windows you can say unzip or extract whatever and then it is going to create this directory web ui which will have everything you need on this system now once you have it let's go to that download directory then web ui so this is where we have everything which we need to run here first thing i would highly suggest is to create a virtual environment so that whatever you are installing or running will be in a separate location so you see that i'm just creating a virtual environment called as ai1 let's wait for it to get created should not take too long and it is good to create it with python 10. now if you have nvidia gpu card make sure that you run these two commands where i'm installing gcc compiler and cuda so cuda is a software layer on top of nvidia's gpu card in simple words so make sure that you have both of these because if you don't do this you might get some errors just press y here and it is going to install both of these here let's wait for it that's done and then from the root of this directory make sure you have all the requirements installed normally when you download that package the repo says that everything comes installed but i have seen that you have to run this in order to get it working properly so make sure that you run it and that is going to take a minute or two so let's wait for it and the re requirements have been installed now a very important step which you need to do to make sure this works properly is to upgrade Gradio because if you don't do it, it is not going to work. And I have battled with this issue on this one for two hours just to figure out what is the problem anyway. So Gradio is done and that is all you needed to do. This is all the installation and then from the web UI folder, this is what you need to run. 
python app.py it is going to load the model on your local system and then it is going to start the model in the gui and this is where if you don't install that gcc compiler it is going to error out and it will automatically open a gradio interface in the local browser so let's wait so you see it has downloaded that model it is initializing the model and now it is starting the web ui shortly and there you go it has started the gradio demo and this is what we needed to do now in order to run it all you need to do is to just input any text here like you can say hello how is it going and then from here you can select the language like uh, what the language is and there are heaps of them english french german and even hindi which you can select out and then there are few advanced settings around audio like what sort of speaker you want male female or calm female i'll just go with the male you need to update it here or you can even include your audio and all you need to do is to just click on this generate and as soon as you click on generate it is going to generate the audio for you so let me play it out hello hello how is it going mate do you see let's try out any other language so i'm just doing a test here i have just uh, used google translate to create this hindi sentence which simply means in english that how is it going right what are your plans for this weekend are you up for some adventure and i have just kept it here in english but i have toggled on enable language auto detect i just want to check if it detects the language or not so do i need to press update i don't think so i'll just keep the speed as is one thing here is that if your language is not supported or the text is less than 20 characters the function will not work that is why i have tried to keep it more than 20 characters let's generate let's wait for it and while that generates it let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay let's play this i don't see that it has changed the language to hindi but anyway let's play okay even though it's a supported language i don't think so detected it so let me select hindi from here and then do i need to press update nope it's okay let's try it out again and i will let it run so that you could see the speed too and we will also check the gpu consumption here let me run it hmm that's quite big it's not 4 gb vram it is consuming at the moment or just under 18 gb of vram that's interesting because the repo says it is 4 gb vram anyway maybe you could offload okay let's try to play this he um one yeah so you see it is just printing gibberish here i don't think so it is working with uh, hindi at all maybe i will try french here so i have opted for spanish now because i can catch few of the words so let's click on generate and let's try to see if it can speak spanish well Amigo, ¿cuáles son tus planes para este fin de semana? ¿Te apetece una aventura? Cool. Even though the uh, Hindi is a supported language, it was unable to do so, but Spanish looks perfect. Good stuff. Another thing which you can do with this is you can do the voice cleaning. It's not as high quality as the other tools, but still, I think, possible, I would say. 
So this is the Spanish sentence and then if you scroll down you can give the reference speaker. So I just uploaded my own audio file here. So you see. And it's not of a very good quality. And then when you click on generate, it is going to generate this audio. So let me play it. Oh. Amigo. ¿Cuáles son tus planes para este fin de semana? ¿Te apetece una aventura? Yeah, so good stuff, not bad at all. Another cool feature of this software is the voice translation. So for example, if you go voice to voice tab, and then you select any file of yours such as i have selected this and you scroll down and you select your target language such as russian or any other so i'm just going to go with russian and then click on translate it has generated this translate file for us so let me play the english first what do you what you you want the moon just say the word and i'll throw a lasso around and pull it down okay let's play the russian now Что ты хочешь? Вы хотите Луну? Просто скажите слово, и я брошу лассу вокруг него и потяну его. How good is that? Now, if you're running it and getting any errors, then make sure that there is a package called as C Translate 2. You have the updated version of it installed. Uh, for me, it didn't give any error, but I have seen that some people are getting it. So make sure that you have pip install C Translate 2 installed to the updated version. So similarly, you can go with any other language of your choice. So you can go with Spanish. I believe this is Spanish. So let me play it for you. It is just translating this file. Let's wait for it. And it takes a bit of a time. And where do you see the errors and stuff? So if you click on terminal, this is where everything is happening. So I'll show you that this is all thing which it has happened. There you go. So if, if you are getting any error, it is not working, just switch to your terminal and you will see what is happening there. And you see that uh, you can see that it has detected the language as Spanish ES and then it is translating it. There are tokens and all that stuff. And it has already completed. Let me play it. So if you're a Spanish speaking or Russian speaking, please kindly confirm that the translation is correct. And then there is another feature which is around instrument just to enhance it. I haven't tested it out yet. So let's test it together. If it fails that we will blame the demo gods, but let's try it out. I'm just going to select maybe um, some instrumental file from my stuff and maybe i'll just go with this bark okay i'll just go with this one bark let me play it okay so let's enhance it and i'm just going to stick with all the defaults around overlapping c from here so it's not working so i think we there are few issues with it, maybe still under development and we can check the error here. Yeah, so it maybe requires some pandas. I already have the updated version one. Maybe I'll just go and maybe quickly say pip install dash u pandas and we will give it another try. It's up. You see, it's already updated, so I don't think so that is going to make any difference. So maybe some other bug. This portion is still under development, so I will test it out later on. But other than that, for text to voice, for voice cloning, for voice translation, this is quite good. I really like it. All local, all private, all quite efficient. And I will drop the link to its repo in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.